In the 1970s, pediatrician Herbert Needleman and colleagues collected and analyzed the baby teeth of school children across Boston and Philadelphia in return for small rewards. But their so-called tooth fairy project confirmed a dark reality. Many kids had been exposed to lead. Lead is a metallic element that's distributed across Earth's crust. When it enters the human body, it can disrupt many critical processes that span various systems, producing a diverse set of symptoms. This is because the body tends to falsely recognize lead as similarly charged metallic elements like calcium, iron, and zinc, and use it in their place for essential reactions, wreaking whole body havoc. For example, lead can disrupt the synthesis of hemoglobin, an essential protein to the body's oxygen-transporting red blood cells, and it can compete with iron to be absorbed in the intestines. Both things can lead to anemia and fatigue. Lead can also cross the blood-brain barrier, damaging neurons and interfering with the activity of neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. This can spur cognitive and behavioral changes, including hyperactivity and aggression. And because of negative effects in other areas, lead exposure can also cause high blood pressure, headaches, pregnancy complications, and abdominal, joint, and muscle pain. Mimicking calcium, lead may also get stored in teeth and bone, then released back into the bloodstream later in life. And because children's bodies are smaller and still developing, they're especially sensitive. Lead exposure can lead to developmental delays, cognitive and behavioral issues, and at high enough concentrations, seizures, coma, and death.